our very first Halloween special of Mix It 3. Yes. You gotta do that yes. with Jurassic Park. Uh, <laughs> Alan Grant from Jurassic Park and Sia. And Sia. Who can't see a darn thing. And uh, we are in the kitchen right now and it is time for What's for Dinner being Tuesdays. So our very good friend Jen Fiore is joining us right now. Hey. Hi Jen. Dressed up as a chef. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, did you not get I the am memo? purposefully. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I did. <laughs> That works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with that. Love it. However, you're bringing us good food. That's what we always. Oh love. my gosh. And I love this the is. Go ahead. This is a this is a comfort food extravaganza. I love the fact that this is a comfort food that is really not. It's usually not gluten free, but you've got it this way. It uh, happens to be. It happens to be. Gluten free. Gluten free. Yes. <laughs> what are we making today, Jen? So we're going to do this pot pie, but I really want to preface this by saying this is very easily made gluten, glutinous, I should say. I am going to show you the gluten-free version. You just take the flour as your all-purpose regular flour. Right. So um, what I started with, the first step of it was creating my own cream of chicken soup. So that's the hard part. Um, being gluten-free. You know, it's hard to find good quality cream of chicken soup. So I just did my flour, milk, chicken stock, poultry seasoning, and I just kept whisking that for 10 minutes. Okay. So you can make that with gluten, flour, and have your own cream of chicken soup. Okay. 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 In the pan, I put in, well, what do you think I started with? Garlic. Oh, uh, okay. Oil. Yes, of course. Yeah. What am I thinking? <laughs> yes. I've had too much sugar today. So I don't butter, me. but yeah. It's, yeah, garlic, of course. Garlic. It, it, it just a little bit of garlic really uh, is really perfect in this pot pie. So um, an onion, uh, two, three, four, no, two sure. cloves of garlic, um, uh, two stalks of celery, all diced real nice and small. And then I took my chicken breast, a pound and a half of chicken breast. And I uh, chopped that really, really small. So I don't know if you can see. It's really little tiny diced pieces in here, okay? Vampires Cook will not like this up. dish. Yeah, for today's recipe, you might want more garlic. Yeah. Just a, I, well, so I told you all to, and that's what's in the recipe, but I put four to five cloves. Okay. 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 So I, I always give the recipe to what, what most, the average people, but we're not average, are we, Cliff? Oh, God. So. Really? Have you met us? <laughs> Have you watched the show we, <laughs> at all? Keep going. Oh my gosh, I know. I can't even I can't even keep the smile off of my face. So in true gen form, this is an easy mixed vegetable. You can get frozen, but there's one little caveat I want you to do. I want you to pull out the lima beans. Not because we don't love them, we do. But they're in this dish, I just don't want you to have the lima beans, okay? I can do You're that. You're gonna say why, and I'm gonna yeah. say because I said so. Just well, I don't, I don't, there's enough I, creamy I don't care texture. I don't so that works for me. Okay. Mm. Oh, oh, we'll change you on that. Oh, but, the, but today you lucked out. All right, so, good. You're gonna mix the um the frozen vegetables in there. You're gonna put a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of dried parsley, and two tablespoons of your flour again. You can use all-purpose for the gluten eaters, gluten-free people. Make sure you have the gluten-free all-purpose flour. And you're going to mix that. Now, you can do that on the stove if you want on a low heat. That's fine. You don't have to, okay, because we're going to put it in the oven and we're going to put it for um, at least 45 minutes in a 350 oven. So, and 45, this is where our cream of mushroom comes in. Three cups and this is going to make a lot of pot pie because oh, right. I don't know if you're going to go through this effort, you're going to make a decent amount. Yeah. And you can freeze, right? right? Well, yeah, you sure can. Um, mm -hmm. And if I were you, I would get one of those um, tins at, you know, the grocery store and right. put it right in there. Put your pastry on top and freeze it just like that. OK. See, now in, in okay. our house, that's what we do. If we're cooking, we make it for like the week. It yeah. Maybe last yeah. a day and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I lie in the exactly. You're, Cliff, sure. you have such good intentions. I do. Yeah. Right? That's been so said for years. what I <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> what I did for um for this Halloween treat, I wanted to make it just a little bit different and show you guys, especially with the kids, <laughs> you can make something fun. You could take like your little crockware pots and put it. them in here and bake them. 
I thought that was fun. For for the real parents, the real eating, go right into your pan, your pie dish. Just go right into that bad boy. Scoop a generous amount in there. And now the pastry part. Here's the tickler for the uh, gluten-free. I have a great recipe in my cookbook that has a pie pastry crust. It is my go-to and has been for probably 15 years. Okay. I use it for all things pie and pastry. And it is flaky and beautiful. And I have not been able to find anything like it comparable at the grocery store. I do believe there are things at the grocery store for gluten-free. I just don't know. Obviously, gluten eaters, that's easy. Right in the refrigerator section near the butter, okay. right? Yeah. You have this. So you're going to see this entire recipe can do two of these little um, crockwares and a pie dish or two pie dishes, okay? But we want to be fun and, and creative. And for Halloween, we did a little jack-o'-lantern. And I'll show you that. All right. And here we are with our cute little jack-o'-lantern faces. You you just cut them out. They're very they're they're a little delicate because right. I I did them before. So you one my face fell off a little bit, but you got the gist. I feel like I'm watching Silence of the Lambs now. <laughs> oh my God! He, he, you know you're right. He just lost his jaw, so it's just Halloween. He doesn't have a jaw. Uh, but right. anyway, that's how we did it. All right, then. And so, like you said, you put it in for about, uh, what, 45 minutes at 350? 45 minutes at 350. Oh, and this will be bubbling and beautiful and... Staring voila. right back at you. <laughs> oh, there you go. I love it. Oh, that is perfect. Awesome, there you awesome. Go. And do you have this recipe on your cookbook? Um, these recipe, this one's not in the cookbook, but it will be up on my website and, um, you can just click on the tab that says seen on your show. So perfect. JaneFiori.com. Happy Halloween, Jen. Thanks so much. Yes. Thank you. Thanks guys. <laughs> Have a great day.